Hey everybody, my name is Gardner, your friendly neighborhood developer advocate with Linode. Today, I wanted to show you how to quickly and easily set up uh, your own WooCommerce instance. Now, the WooCommerce is actually a plugin for WordPress. WordPress has the benefit of being uh, a ubiquitous content management system uh, and platform that a lot of people use to actually put their uh, thoughts and opinions and host their own sites out there in the world. And uh, WooCommerce is a way to add you know, your own storefront to your WordPress instance. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is to sign into the Linode Cloud Manager. Uh, getting set up with this is pretty simple, but if you don't have an account yet, check the description. There's gonna be a link for some free credit to get you started. So in the Cloud Manager, uh, once you've signed in and created your account, you're gonna go over here to Marketplace. And then we can just go ahead and select uh, WooCommerce down here uh, in the Marketplace tab here. So if we select WooCommerce and we scroll down, we can create an account for ourselves. And we'll give it an email address. Let's go ahead and give it a name. Let's say that this is the, uh, this is, let's say that this is Gardner's store. We'll use Debian 10. I don't think you can pick anything else. Now selecting the region is actually rather important here. What you wanna do is select uh, a location that is somewhat near where either you or your customers are gonna be located. Uh, for me, we're gonna go ahead and pick Newark, New Jersey. Then we'll scroll down here and go to the Linode plan. If you have a small site with a few products, a one gigabyte Linode should suffice. Uh, you can also go with the two gigabyte Linode if that might be more your speed. You know, depending on how many products you have and how much traffic you anticipate having, two gigabytes is probably gonna be sufficient. We could scroll down, we get to enter a root password. And that should be everything we need to do. And now all we need to do is hit create Linode. And after a couple minutes of provisioning, uh, our Linode should be up and running. In the meantime, I wanna configure my DNS records. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the IP address here. I'm gonna copy this. And we're gonna go over here to uh, domains. We're gonna click on linodians.net. Now, if you're not using Linode's name servers, uh, you're not, not gonna be able to do this step on the Linode dashboard. You'll need to go to wherever you registered your domain and update your DNS records there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and select my A record here, and I'm just going to paste uh, my new Linode's IP right there into my A record for linodians.net. You're gonna follow similar uh, instructions on another registrar. Um, but we're gonna need this to set up SSL uh, in a moment. So, all right, let's go back to our Linode and see how far along we are. It says we're running here, so. And we just set up uh, linodians.net, so there we go. We typed in linodians.net and now we have our WordPress site set up. So now what we wanna do here is go ahead and type in slash wp-login.php. So now we can type in the uh, username and password to be specified. All right, so now we're logged into our dashboard. So we wanna go ahead and go to settings and we're gonna change our WordPress address. Uh, we're gonna change this to linodians.net. That's gonna be HTTPS and site address will also do that. Um, let's do linodians.net and we'll save. Now that's all well and good, but in order to actually have trust on the internet, in order for customers to be able to trust you, you actually need to have SSL set up uh, because any data that is sent over an insecure connection over the web is actually readable by literally anyone who's snooping on uh, you know, HTTP traffic going in and out of your network. Um, so that's why we're gonna set up SSL real fast. So now let's click on Lish console here. Let's just type in root and then the password that we used. Now we have access to our Linode. So now we can say something like sudo apt install certbot And hit yes, and we're gonna install certbot here. sudo apt install python. Uh, I believe it's python3 dash certbot uh, dash apache. Now you can run these both at the same time, but uh, I, I, I ran them separately. <laughs> so now that we have certbot installed, we can uh, get our certificates up, uh, installed and updated. So let's go um, sudo certbot dash dash Apache. Please enter an email address. 
All right, and we can agree to those terms. Uh, we can say no here. And um, we want to force redirects to the uh, encrypted version of our site. So we're gonna select two here to redirect and we'll hit enter. And there we go. We now have SSL enabled for our WooCommerce site. Um, so now let's run sudo nano, etc. Apache 2, sites enabled. And then we're going to update our WordPress uh, LE to SSL config. And we're gonna say server name is actually going to be equal to our uh, domain name that we've set up. So linodians.net. We'll hit that. So if you hit control S and then control X, you'll save your document. And then what we're gonna do is type sudo systemctl reload apache2. And we should be reloaded here. And now if we go back to our main site, so now that we've logged into our WordPress blog, we can actually go into our WordPress, uh, our WooCommerce section, and we can get set up here. So we're gonna set up uh, a new account. Let's say um, uh, 123 Main Street, uh, Suite 2, Main, United States. Let's say Belfast, Belfast, Maine, coolest little city in the world, 04915. And we're gonna hit continue. Which industry does your uh, store operate? Uh, we're going to say electronics and computers. And we're just going to fill out this form until we're done here. And it'll give you options here for, um, you know, different themes. Uh, most of these cost money. I'm just going to go with my currently active theme. And we need to create a Jetpack account here. So we're just going to go ahead and do that real fast. All right, we're logging in. All right, so now we get to set up uh, some products here. So let's go over here to products and go to add new product. Okay, and then we can just go ahead and add a product name. So let's say uh, my new product. We can give it uh, any arbitrary data that we want here. So let's say um, this is just an example product. And we can set a price, let's say $50. And let's set a sale price for Ten dollars? Why not? We can also. There's a bunch of other things we can set, like a SKU number, uh, manage the stock. So if we have the stock enabled, we can, uh, you know, add a quantity that we track, uh, shipping information, linked products, uh, attributes, and other things. Um, I think that's all we need for a basic product. You know what? Actually, let's add an image as well. Let's set a product image and we'll just set it to be some arbitrary thing. And we can say, uh, you know, alt text. We can add alt text, we can add text uh, titles, captions and whatever, but we're good. We're gonna save that. And then we're just gonna hit publish here. And now we can see that if we click on this permalink here, it's actually going to take us to that product on the sales page. And that's all well and good and we can add it to our cart, but we can't check out yet uh, because we haven't enabled any payment gateways. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna go back here to WooCommerce and we can set up uh, either a WooCommerce payments solution or we can go to payments and add either direct pay payments or we could set up Stripe or uh, PayPal. Um, let's go ahead and set up PayPal real fast. So we're gonna enable PayPal. We're gonna put in our PayPal email address. And uh, enable the sandbox lets you do testing. You need to have a developer account for that. We're not gonna set that one up. Um, receiver email, again, we wanna do our actual PayPal email. Now this is optional, but if you have a PayPal account, you can get one of these uh, account uh, tokens and it will allow you to have payments processed without the need for setting up this uh, account. Um, then you can also do uh, 
prefixes here. WC dash is a good prefix for, you know, any invoices that go through PayPal. Now, if you need to be able to process refunds, you can set up an API, or an API token. Um, I'm not going to do that for this uh, tutorial here, but we're just going to hit save changes and it will uh, get everything set up here for you. And you should be good to go at this point. Now, if we go back to payments, we can see that PayPal has been enabled here. And now if we go back to our store and we visit our store, we can select our product that's on sale. We can add it to our cart and we can uh, go through the checkout process. And I do have two, I do have two of them in my cart actually. Uh, but we can go through um, set, filling out our name and then we can proceed to PayPal. And that's all you need to do really. Uh, WooCommerce is pretty sweet. Took about 15 minutes to set up and I couldn't be happier with that. We were able to set up an entire uh, digital storefront and connect our payment gateway. And it's really that easy. It took about 15 minutes. I think that's gonna do it for this video though. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, yeah, or any comments that you'd like to leave, there's a comment section down below just for that reason. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.